me, what was it like being in, up in that aircraft today? Well, you know, incredibly noisy and, and, and shaking like nobody's business. But as a historian, you know, you start looking out the window and imagining what our airmen went through you know, back in 1943, 44, and 45, the noise, the sounds, the fear, the cold. I mean, they were operating at 50 degree below zero weather up there, you know, with incredibly bulky clothing on, trying to fight. Uh, ammunition casing slowly around the floor, trying to negotiate those. Meanwhile, aircraft are coming in, aircraft damage is happening, buddies may be injured, and, and, the, and the trauma and, and the true professionalism that they had to maintain to keep the fight and bring it to the enemy was just phenomenal. And just thinking about that, what was happening up there, was. Uh, being in the aircraft just kind of really helped you put that into focus. So, yeah. This tradition alive? Well, because <laughs> you've got a generation that World War II is becoming more and more distant, even if, in some cases, not even on, on their mind, especially with today's youth. It's, it's you know, it's, you know we're pushing what? You know, over 70 years ago that, that, that we engage in this, this incredible conflict over in Europe, and you've got generations now that have come to pass that didn't know that, and, you know, History keeps building and things get crowded out, and this brings it to life. You know, this, this helps provide a platform for veterans or, or family members of veterans to pass on this knowledge and this, this, this importance to their, to their children. And I think it's well worthwhile that the public remembers what, what happened all those years ago.